For anyone who does not know an acrylic, oh my god. <laughs> I give up! Hey everyone and welcome back to another daily quick tip with Wilcox Theatre and Arts. Today we are going to be doing a type of pour painting and adding a little flair into it using a straw and a chain. So let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my canvas in white. Having our white paint as a base will help our colors move more fluidly and freely. Wild little birds. <laughs> For anyone who does not know what pore painting is, it is adding a mixture into your acrylic paints to make them more fluid. It, it can be very abstract, relaxed type of painting. You can dump the painting onto your canvas. It takes little to no skill to do a pore painting. And today, the type of pore painting we're going to do is called puddle painting where we take our different colors and make puddles and then move the paint the way that we want them to. Now that we have our base color on our canvas, I am going to take this purple and this turquoise and sporadically put little puddles onto my canvas. Now that we have a couple puddles on there, I am going to take my straw and blow in the center of my puddles, creating a flower type shape. As you can see, using a straw, you can manipulate your paint to do some really cool different things. The next thing we're going to experiment with is a chain. To use a chain, one method is to dip your chain into a color, and I'm gonna use my turquoise. I'm gonna get it covered in paint, and then lay it out onto the canvas in an S-like structure. And then I'm going to pull straight down, creating real abstract looking flowers. You can add as many as you want into your painting. This one's gonna zigzag. You can play around with it. Let's see what you can come up with. Drag your chain over your painting. Making a really cool mixture of paint. Those are a couple tips of things you can do on a pore painting. You can keep playing around with it, have fun with it. Pour painting is very relaxing and very messy. First thing you would need is acrylic paint, a canvas, cups, stir sticks, flow trawl, which you can find at Ace or Sierra Lumber. It is called Flood. It is the same product. And WD-40. After you get all your supplies, you would take your acrylic paint and put it into individualized cups and add your mixture of Floetrol in, which is about one to one. Uh, after you add your Floetrol, you can put your WD-40 in, just a small little spritz, and mix it all up. Then you're ready to pour your paint. If you've enjoyed these videos, subscribe down below. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> <laughs>